Hi, welcome to a Spot 101, the video series that presents you useful tips and tricks based on basic a Spot features. And for today's video, it will be like a really situational example. How can we import in a good way multiple shankbox properties values? So as you know, different properties have different types and one of these types is multiple shankbox. What's the difference between multiple shankbox and single shankbox, drum down select, radio select, page picker, etc. is that multiple shankbox can have several values for one record. So let's say you have a multiple checkbox property which is like interested in product and on value you have product A, B, C, D, etc. Sometimes a record, so a specific contact, will have interested in product A and B. But when you want to perform an import with a CSV or Excel sheet document, you will have something looking like that. You will have a column with an email as a unique identifier and you will have a column with this said multi checkbox property with different value. But if we from this import, it will simply overwrite the existing value for uh, one test.com with value one, two test.com with value two, and three test.com value three. If one test.com has already a value, this import will just overwrite the previous value. And as we see here, we can only import one value for this multiple checkbox property. So first, I want to show you how to include several values within one import. So let's say you have one at test.com that want to have value one and value two as a property. You can simply add another value and separate it with this semicolon symbol. Now what will happen? Even if one at test.com has a value on this multiple checkbox property, it will override the existing property and add value one and value two instead. Now let's say one at test.com already has value three for this specific property and we don't want to overwrite this result but we want to append value one and two to this specific record. The only thing you need to do is to add this semicolon symbol at the beginning of your values. And by doing so, you will have after you import one at test.com multiple checkbox property equal to value three, value one, and value two. Of course, every time you perform an import with drop down select multiple checkbox property or radio select, you need to already have the value you will write on your Excel sheet on your spot portal in the property settings. I hope this short tip was useful for you. If it's the case, don't forget to put a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel. If you want to get a deeper knowledge on how to set up and optimize a spot portal, you can find on the description below a link to my free training containing more than 40 videos to help you do so. It was Greg. I wish you a great day and see you soon.